booking a luxurious London hotel and planning a family trip. Hi Jennifer, I wanted to share some exciting news with you. Hi Michael, sure. I love good news. What's happening? I've just booked a five-day stay at a luxurious hotel in London for our family vacation. That's fantastic, Michael. Which hotel have you chosen? I've booked us into the Ritz. It's one of the most luxurious hotels in London. Wow, that's quite impressive. What amenities does the hotel offer? The Ritz offers a variety of amenities. They have spacious rooms, a fitness center, a wellness spa, and even a Michelin-starred restaurant. That sounds wonderful. When are we going? We're scheduled to leave next month. We'll have five full days to explore London. That sounds exciting. Do you have any plans for our trip? I've been thinking about it. London has so many attractions. We could visit the British Museum, the Tower of London, Buckingham Palace, and of course, the London Eye. I've always wanted to see the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. Can we include that in our itinerary? Absolutely, I think that's a great idea. We can also explore some of the city's beautiful parks like Hyde Park and Regent's Park. Don't forget about shopping. I'd love to visit Harrods and the markets at Covent Garden. Of course. Shopping is a must. We can also explore London's theatre district. Maybe we could catch a show at the West End. I'd love that. I've heard that the food scene in London is amazing too. Yes, it's very diverse. We can try everything from traditional English food to international cuisine. This is sounding like a dream vacation, Michael. I'm really looking forward to it. Me too, Jennifer. I think it's going to be a trip to remember. Thank you for organizing this, Michael. I'm sure the kids will love it too. I hope so, Jennifer. I want it to be a special experience for all of us. I'm sure it will be, Michael. Thank you for making this happen. You're welcome, Jennifer. I'm excited to share this experience with you and the kids. Me too, Michael. I can't wait. Let's start packing then. Absolutely, let the countdown begin. Preparing for a swimming lesson. Hi Mary, how are you today? Hello James, I'm good, thank you. How about you? I'm fine too, thanks. I heard you have a swimming lesson this weekend. Yes, that's right. I'm excited, but also a bit nervous. That's completely normal, Mary. Do you know what you need to bring for the lesson? Well, I guess I need a swimsuit and a towel, right? Yes, those are essential. Also, it's a good idea to bring goggles and a swim cap if you have them. They protect your eyes and hair from the chlorine in the pool. I see. I will make sure to bring them. How should I prepare myself for the lesson? Try to eat a light meal about one to two hours before the lesson. You don't want to swim on an empty stomach, but you also don't want to feel too full. That makes sense. What should I expect during the lesson? During your first lesson, the instructor will probably teach you some basic skills, like floating, kicking, and maybe some basic strokes. What if I feel scared or nervous in the water? It's okay to feel that way. Just remember, your instructor will be there to help you. And it's important to tell them if you're feeling scared or uncomfortable. I understand. Is there anything I should do after the lesson? Yes, after the lesson, it's a good idea to stretch your muscles and drink plenty of water. Also, you should rinse off in the shower to remove any chlorine from your skin and hair. Great advice, James. Thanks for your help. You're welcome, Mary. 
Swimming is a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. I'm sure you'll do great. I hope so. I'll remember all your tips. Thanks again. No problem at all, Mary. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Good luck with your swimming lesson. Thank you, James. Have a nice day. Being a contestant on a quiz show. Hi Patricia, I heard you're going to be on a quiz show. Is that true? Hello John, yes, that's correct. I'm both excited and nervous. That sounds like an amazing experience. Can you tell me a little bit about how you got selected? Of course. First, I had to fill out an online application. Then, I was invited to take a test to assess my general knowledge. After passing the test, I had an interview with the show's producers. They must have liked me, because I was selected to be a contestant. Wow, that sounds like quite a process. You must be very knowledgeable. How are you preparing for the show? I've been reading a lot and watching previous episodes of the show to get a feel for the type of questions they might ask. I've also been practicing with some quiz games at home. That's a good strategy. What kind of topics do you think you'll be asked about? Quiz shows usually cover a wide range of topics, such as history, science, culture, and current events. I'm trying to brush up on all these areas as much as I can. That's smart. I'm sure you'll do great. Is there anything you're particularly worried about? I'm a bit worried about the timed nature of the show. I tend to take my time to think about questions, but on the show, I'll need to respond quickly. That's a fair concern, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Remember, it's just as much about the experience as it is about winning. You're absolutely right, John. I'm mainly doing this for the fun of it. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Definitely, and who knows? You might even win a big prize. That would be wonderful, but even if I don't, I'm sure I'll have a great time. That's the spirit, Patricia. Do you know when your episode will air? Not yet, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. I can't wait to watch you on TV. Best of luck, Patricia. Thank you, John. Your support means a lot to me. You're welcome, Patricia. Enjoy your time on the show. I certainly will, John. Thanks again for your kind words. My pleasure, Patricia. Take care. You too, John. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Patricia. Can't wait to see you on the show.